your youth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The wife of your youth. We're not going to start having townhouses all over the place because we can afford it. God bless you. the founder and the president of Men of Purpose. And really today we had a, a conference about men's journey. So we're asking about African men who have went through the journey of business, the journey of everything in life, to come and say, how do you help a boy child to walk a journey of life without failing? So that's why we find ourselves here. So we just want to say thank you to everyone that came. And we just say, we challenge every man, let it be a boy that you, 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 you mentor. Because a boy child is an endangered species. Drugs is suffer from that. The issue of uh, uh, special learning, it is a boy child. Prison, it is a place for a boy child. We can change it. If we hold our hands together as men, as fathers, as uncle, and says, not a single boy that will go through this. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Bishop Sipom Kawane, Sibulian Kons and Kurugangaga, men of purpose, or Rilon Chogwayo, the host of Fundis, Umtanye, Sichablega Kulu, or Gutibe Nalem Kons. In Jong or Kunkur Munto Slisa, Yea Feso. For the Gubain Conso, Yer Restoration, the Wisa Becky Dignity, your Munt. For the Gubain Conso, Enza Wuti, Wonka Bantona Baba Fan, Masba Pega, Saz with the Evo, whatever age, and about eight or not thirteen, but Saz with as a hidden man, Uloyam Fana Lun. So we need to take care of them. So in Conso, Sifundilega Kulu. In all aspects. Hi, I'm Pastor Thomas Kadem and also a life coach. Uh, we are gathered here, we men of purpose and just coming together as men. There have been a lot of things as the Aban Fazani, women's conference, women's prayers, women's gatherings, and you find that women get to be transformed, but they come back to men who are not transformed. So now we want to appreciate an initiative like this. Um, my mentor, Joshua Mutanyelo, who is the founder of the Men of Purpose has put, put us together and uh, we are just here for transformation. We are here to learn. Uh, they always say that if ever you are not prepared, if you are prepared to earn more, you've got to learn more. So that's why we are here. We want to be better men. We want to be better husbands. as We want to be better grandfathers. So we are just here about manhood. And and if ever we don't talk our, about our issues, then no one will talk about them. If ever T now we don't appreciate ourselves uh, because they are just talking about criticizing men. So it's time that we say something about ourselves. Thank you very much. God bless you. And I went straight to Standard Bank and withdrew some money, called my dealer. While they were celebrating my exit from, uh, from, uh, from rehab, I was high as a kite. Couldn't wait to go and score for some more drugs. 
I was addicted to drugs, but some of you are addicted to pornography. Some of you are addicted to gambling. Some of you are addicted to different things, social media. But today, I believe that we serve a God of miracles who can deliver us from any situations and any bondage that we face. Today is a, a very big event, a very auspicious event. It's our first men's conference after Siba and Ray Corona that we could not do anything. Um, this is Men of Purpose. It's an organization based in Katlehong. Uh, with our primary target being the boy child and our secondary target is men. Uh, we work basically on five brave pillars. We call them brave pillars. It's brave to dream. Uh, where we say people should be brave to dream. They should aspire to, to do greatness. They should aspire to achieve. They should aspire to contribute positively to the community. Um, our second pillar is brave to lead, which means people should be able to, be, to, to lead themselves, uh, have the audacity uh, to, 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 to make critical decisions which will be critical in their lives and, uh, and their future. Uh, thirdly, we, we say brave to work hard. Um, in, in order for the country to, 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 to come out of the economic uh, quagmire which has been caused by um, the COVID, the lockdown, uh, and many other actually effects that had an effect on the economy. We we encourage people, we encourage men, we encourage the boy child to work very hard to contribute to the mainstream economy so that uh, the South African economy can be stronger and grow day by day. We also have the fourth pillar which is brave to protect. You know, uh, looking back in retrospect to the recent uh, looting, uh, spate of looting that was happening around the country, it showed that as South Africans, we, 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 we don't have the zeal to protect what we have as a country. And as men of purpose were saying, people should be brave to protect infrastructure, they should be brave to protect themselves, they should be brave to protect their families. But most of all, let us be brave to protect our, our integrity, let us be brave to protect our reputation as men and boys. Uh, also, when we talk about that, we, we're looking at the issues of gender-based violence whereby the men's, men's dignity has been very much uh, destroyed due to the fact that they are now regarded as uh, abusers. So we're saying, let us protect our reputation as men. Let us do the right thing. Let us protect our sisters, let us protect our women, our children. But most of all, let us protect ourselves from doing the wrong things. Then the last one is to is uh, brave to give and serve, which, is, which talks around the issues of uh, patriotism. Uh, we're saying that with what we've gained, with what we've accumulated, with what we've acquired, let us give back to the communities that we come from, let us give back to the communities that we live with, let us give back to our families. So basically that's what Men of Purpose is about. But coming back to today, we have a lineup of very interesting speakers looking at both business and, uh, and life itself. Um, we just want to inspire men to say, well, uh, Though COVID is not gone uh, totally, but let us gather and, uh, and, and, and bring about ideas and discuss and converse about how can we contribute positively to, to, to rebuilding our nation. That is what um, our event today is mainly about. There is no place called men's shelter. So a violated man has no safe space in, in Gauteng. Because you find men condemning men in the interest of women. There is a difference between uh, educating people about gender-based violence and disempowering men uh, in their own space. Today is an interesting day for me as a man and how I feel about it is that it's an interesting and a wonderful initiative for men, much needed initiative for men in South Africa. Um, it's cleansing the image, the bad image that men have in society and it's an opportunity for men to learn together and grow as well as teach the younger men to aspire to be great. This is a journey about men. So we are here to really empower each other as men and share our experiences and help develop each other in order to change the costs and make sure that we create a solid destination.
this is Karabo Mchanyelo. Today we are at Sakani with our daughter for Imen People's Conference. Um, I feel like I'm, I feel honored to be part of this program because um, as uh, pastor, I am very proud of the people who are going to be So, I feel very honored with today. I'm here, I'm helping out with the program. How Indonesia should behave uh, in Pagatin, how to behave in uh, my business in Nangendela was part of engineering. It's powerful to look at the service because uh, I'm a speaker that I call a la school man, uh, life and life stories. School man about the Indela Bandas be Hambi, Guyo, Nogutia Hamber, Nogutia Beranjan. We know the reasons. Kunama soldier a trainee were to be able to defend uh Israel. Koto ukolayat by Amsa Babong. Ngobam Kulu, Unama resources, if we're talking about business, there are a lot of people who are afraid to do his in Dunkulungul as Fagent Lizwenzabo. Mina won't fully some kwanazi, but I can be family church. Sizelana, it's a cane for a man of purpose. So kusa mak daughter. Lana so close to my daughter with his house, Bobani, Buyapi. This is was with Crusades, is was pulling out of my daughter, with my daughter. I abuse her in daughter of Tanda, no bonus some parrot. The Busser Kuba will endow. Moba Naming in daughter, call my mistake and Wabona, Cotta Mangendow, Mrs. Renewa, Wisborn, which in his main right with Mubaba, Gin daughter, and Kulungu, Yabo Wuti, Nana Baba was born, Abba Sunday, the Kulungu, but was with my daughter, in daughter, not to control it, but in daughter with Ume, who begs in to as Pamwa was correct. Mau wrong, wrong, Mau yes, yes. Um, I am really blessed to be here at the Brave Conference. Now, here, what we are doing, we are displaying um, one of my favorite actually anchors of the, 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 the conference that we are displaying financial freedom to the male seed, which is very critical in this time and age. And um, to Lababa Corner, we say, Megani, uh, Sibeni, people that are of substance and people that are going to be changed the community as males. An SABC and ATV and Zanzi Magic would sign a contract based on an idea before it's based on Gutivela Guban. Because all they care about in Mali at the end of the day, can this idea give us 5 million viewers and if it does, then we're going to go with him. Then it began maybe to say, okay, as a Christian, I began to go to God and say, is Lakoliti what no eye has seen what no ear has heard, what not has been conceived by the mind, are the very things that God has prepared for them that love him. And these things are revealed to us by his spirit. And when I started my company, literally I would go to my office, shut the door, sit down, open my laptop and say, Kunkul, I want to create, literally, this is my prayer, simple as that. I want to create a cooking show. But we will come back. But we will come back. So we will have a business at you. But we will come back. Why? Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout yes. Our youngsters 
have the wrong idea of what it means to be a man. Between the ages of 12 and 17 is when their ideas of masculinity are formed. And we are busy raising men with a, an idea, with a toxic idea of what masculinity is. They think that masculinity is aggression. They think that masculinity is all those other things that are male and not manly. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a daughter. I, I, I call it a, a spade, a spade. They are vanishing from the face of this earth. But in God's fun and I learn and concerns of Wisa in the tender when you are your position, you are your so we dignity and daughter. Well, it was a big eye opener, it was a big eye opener. The best part of the service for me was when um, Ulukunja, the professor Morris, uh, was, was speaking. He really opened up my thinking and he really blessed me and he opened up another thought process that I've never, I've never been accustomed to before. The young man that is Onge Kulana, I would say to him, um, it would be beneficial to them to catch the network, the next one that is coming, because there are elements and things that the people are Pambi, Sebazo Snigazon, Atina, Sile Mover, and there are key points that we'll learn from. So I would encourage them, Gutiba Fige, Babinati, at the next conference as well. I'm Google I was attending Men on Purpose today. It was so powerful. The speakers spoke to us as men, and they say a lot of things that we need to fix in this generation. I want to thank the organizers of Men on Purpose. May God richly bless you. Let's keep on building Africa. Thank you. I'm